हेलो गाइस एंड वेलकम टू पार्ट नाइन ऑफ सेल्स फोर्स एसोसिएट एम सो दिस इज़ द लास्ट वीडियो दैट आई एम गोइंग टू रिकॉर्ड फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर सीरीज आई हैव कवर्ड ऑलमोस्ट ऑल द टॉपिक्स एंड ऑल पॉसिबल प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ यू नो एम सी क्यूज दैट कैन कम इन दिस एग्जाम द सिलेबस इज़ वेरी स्मॉल सो आई एम गोइंग टू ओनली स्टिक टू दिस सेट ऑफ क्वेश्चन सो लेट्स जस्ट गेट स्टार्टेड गेट क्लाउडी कंसल्टिंग जी सी सी करेंटली सपोर्ट्स इट्स कस्टमर्स वाया कॉल्स एंड ई मेल्स जी सी सी वॉन्ट्स टू मीट द नीड्स ऑफ डिजिटली सेवी कस्टमर बाय ऑफरिंग सपोर्ट वाया वेब चैट्स एस एल एस एस एम एस फेसबुक मैसेंजर एंड व्हाट्सएप विद सेल्स फोर्स प्रोडक्ट शुड यू नो दे नीड सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन दे नीड समथिंग यू नो टू एक्वायर द वे दे टॉक टू कस्टमर्स they need to manage the leads they need to drive the customer loyalty so in all these cases they need something related to crm functionalities that could you know support the way the communication happens between the consultancy and the customers so we have three options over here we have service cloud experience cloud and sales cloud since you know uh the service cloud is more related to e uh, you know the services that they provide like um, handling tickets and stuff experience cloud is more more of creating a user interface with experience so in this case answer is option number c sales cloud with sales cloud sales cloud you can efficiently acquire customers create quotes and manage leads and drive customer loyalty in this way sales cloud can provide you all crm sales functionalities under one roof okay so in this case option number c will be the answer question number 87 which of the following is visualization tool for opportunity to check deals organized by each stage in pipeline so i had told you earlier that whenever you see that you know there are different stages of opportunity and you want to visualize them in a in a pipeline the answer is always kanban dashboard is visualization of data schema builder is visualization of data model and kanban is visualization of stages in different pipeline like you know you can see the opportunity if it's in the stage that it has started or if it's in the stage that you know uh it has what can we we say that it's in progress it's done or the negotiation is going or it's finalized so the opportunities are in different stages depending upon where the sale is so in such cases kanban comes into picture so take a pen and paper and write it down that dashboard is visualization of data schema builder is visualization of data model and kanban is used to see the opportunity in different stages in form of a pipeline pipeline is like you know you always know the next step till we reach the end so the opportunity will go through the whole pipeline to get to the end question number 88 can we con- convert look up relationship into master detail relationship answer is true or false the answer is true yes we can convert look up relationship into master detail so what is basically look up look up is like you know two records in two different tables are connected with each other in master detail one record act as parent and another record act as child so in this case what happens is that you can convert look up relationship into master detail relationship in salesforce however it's important to note that the conversation is one way process if you like you know convert them once you cannot go back again okay so what will happen in look up whatever two records are connected they will just have a master child relationship with them this is the explanation given you can pause the video 
and you know understand it for yourself question number 89 a sales force associate wants to edit a field with opportunity record he is unable to edit the field because he has no right to do so in this situation what should system admin do so first thing what you have to understand is that no matter how many people are in your organization there has to be one system system administration who will keep a check on you know what kind of uh, rights access rights are given to these different associates okay and if associate wants to have more access or you know they he they want to access something which do not already have they always reach out to system administrator and system administrator helps them to do so so in this case if they he wants to you know edit a field within opportunity record and he is unable to deactivating user is not an option update the role when when you know will he or she the system administrator will update the role it's it's a good possibility that the sales force associate will get more unnecessary access which he or she may do not need so this is a very custom request so in this case what they can do is they can simply go and update the permission sets so permission sets define the access right of a user so if you want to grant file ed edit access right the user will have the update the permission sets to do so question number 90 a sales force associate wants to quickly create an org where they can learn practice and dev develop sales force skills which type of org should they create within sales force so this question is very important so in exam you will get a question that x y z is requirement of the sales force associate so should they go ahead with a developer edition org or should they go with a sandbox or should should they go with a playground okay but over here the target is that they the person wants to learn practice and develop sales force skills so in this case developer edition is the answer but if you want to know that what kind of questions or the information you need to know to select the correct uh, answer among these three just take a screenshot of this page okay so playground is also a developer edition org okay so it comes with already predefined configured trailhead data which is used for trailhead hands on purpose so if you have ever visited this particular website or if you have studied salesforce using the modules that they have you know that you know they already have a playground in which they already have the data that you need to understand that particular module if you know you are studying about reports and dashboards so the uh, the playground that is present in that module will already have the data that you need to practice reports and dashboard sandbox is used for testing purpose before moving ahead with production okay and developer org is something that is right option for associate to go ahead as you know you can um, test your things that you want to have a customization according to you or you want to learn something there so developer edition org and playground are something similar just playground is a pre configured trailhead data which is used for trailhead head hands on purpose but if you do not want to do trailhead hands on purpose you want to do your own hands on in that case this developer edition or comes into picture question number 91 so a sales force associate frequently views multiple reports located in different location what is an efficient way to navigate to report quickly add each report to browser bookmark add reports to their personal home page add reports to my favorites so in salesforce if you want to go again and view any report or dashboard again and again a functionality called called as my favorite is present you can just add all the things you want to see again and again or all the reports or dashboard you want to see again and do my favorite so it's basically 
a quick access to important records question number 92 an organization is migration into crm to salesforce and associate the lead of the migration has decided to create learning content on trailhead platform in form of multiple modules targeting some con- same content and basic salesforce content what should he do salesforce help portal help portal won't help in him to you know a uh, create learning content learn via books is not an option it's not updated and not feasible in such a modern world he should create a trail mix this is correct the lead is well aware of what the team needs to learn how the team needs to learn what kind of modules are important and you know how to create a learning path which is the most important thing in this question that he wants to do so in trail head this this particular website you have an option where you can you know combine learning content the different modules that they have in your own way like if there are 20 modules but you think that if if for your team only 12 out of these 20 modules are important so you can create a trail mix out of those 12 modules okay so this is an explanation given where you know what is a trail mix what is trail head is you know noted down so it's basically a custom learning path that you can create depending upon the things you want to learn or you want to create as a trail mix question number 93 what is metadata in salesforce so an app a app on app exchange data about data data model 2 so the answer is option number d bb data about data okay so wherever you read this for word metadata it is always data about data so it's basically a way to represent that what kind of data we have what can you expect out of the data we have it's a basically a gist of data it's data about data question number 94 what is the maximum number of rows that will display within a report it's a straightforward answer which doesn't needs any kind of explanation so the answer is 2000 question number 95 can you create custom objects in salesforce the answer is yes it is possible to create custom objects within salesforce in salesforce there's a high chance that all the predefined or the standard objects that salesforce already have may not be enough for you to create your own crm on cloud you may need some additional objects you may need some you know different defined tables for your different functionalities or purpose for which you want to use salesforce for uh, for in this case such custom objects come into picture yeah so yeah this was the last video of the series and a very big thank you to each and every one of you who has watched all nine parts of it and i wish you a very big all the best and congratulations that you have came this far if you are on your leading path of you know being a becoming a salesforce developer associate consultant or whatever just keep doing keep learning and i wish you all the best